Okay, I got this little mini uh, HD camera from Gearbest. It records in uh, 1920 by 1080, I believe only 30 frames per second, but it comes with a super wide angle lens, or just a wide angle lens, 155 degrees. So here's a quick look at it. You can see here it's a you know tiny cube shape for your micros. Uh, it records to a micro SD card, power, yeah, power jack here, a little internal battery. I'll have a little review on this coming up pretty soon. Hopefully the video quality will be pretty good. So we'll, so we'll find, I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, so I got a bunch of new props in from Gemfan. And I think these are the new Hulky 5055s. So it's a pretty aggressive pitch, but same tapered end here that they've got on a lot on the Flash series. So I'll do a review video on this one. I got, I got some red ones. I got some I got yellow clear. And I think I got some black, black ones too. Yes, this is what the black ones look like. And they also sent me some uh, more of these uh, 3052 flash. Let's see, I have um, pink and clear, I think. So now there's more, some more pink here, and then they got this blue color. I kind of like this blue color, it looks almost like turquoise. And then here is the black, it almost looks purple, a little bit translucent black. And I got some more of these 2540s. These are really good two and a half inch props. And uh, they sent me some ones in black. I got some ones in red, blue, and clear. But these are the first ones I've seen in black. Pretty nice. Okay, so these are the new Avan props from Emacs. Uh, these are two inch props. And obviously for the two inch micros, you can see you got the two screw mounting system here. I believe it's, it's not for the baby hawk, it's a standard uh, screw mounting solution. Here's a little quick look at it. Obviously fairly high uh, pitch angle there. So it's pretty aggressive. Uh, tapers off to a very fine tip here and it almost looks like it's broken on the end there. I don't know if that comes out on camera, but there's a little sharp tip there, kind of like on the gem fans, but just kind of smaller as well. And uh, the scoop is eh, it's fairly well defined, so I think it should be. I think with a tip here like this, I think that should improve efficiency. But I'll test these out later, and we'll find out how these do. Okay, so this is the Eishin uh, B Core V2. It uh, comes in three versions: Free Sky, Fly Sky, DSM2. This is the Tiny Whoop uh, micro board, and uh, I think the uh, improve this where the I think the Fly Sky version does the uh, two-way protocol, so it does iBus, and then I think on the uh, all of the boards have the new Betaflight OSD built in, so. Uh, we should be able to get an, uh, basically an OSD with your voltage and timer and all that kind of good stuff. So I'll have a, a review, put this into one of my tiny whips, and we'll see what it looks like pretty soon. Okay, here's some new motors from um, iFlight RC. These are the uh, iPower series, and the uh, these are 1606 motors. I'm not sure what the KV is. It comes in a pack of four. Okay, so you get a set of mounting screws M2, and it's a pretty big motor. Obviously bigger than a 1407, 1408, 4100 KV. So this thing ought to really have a lot of power for those three inch micros that are coming out now. Fairly long motor wire here. I think this is 20 gauge wire, silicone, nice. And I think this is a standard M5 uh, prop shaft. Okay, so I finally picked up a set of these Amway Commander goggles uh, so I can do some comparisons with my Fat Sharks. Uh, very similar, obviously, and I think this is probably, out of all the goggles that have come out recently, this is probably the probably the second best uh, choice out there uh, behind the Fat Sharks, so I thought I'd do a review on it. And I believe this is currently on flash sale, uh, about $299, I believe. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to be on flash sale, so uh, if you might want to check it out, the link's in the description. Or in the box here, we've got a nice user manual. Yeah, all the Amway manuals are pretty good. Goggles come in a nice case here, pretty nice. You get some foam padding. You get a patch antenna and a circular polarized antenna and also some AV cables for maybe if you want to do a ground station connection. 
Here are the goggles themselves. It's got a nice uh, soft touch plastic on here. Uh, feels very nice. It's obviously in gray. You got a little slot for your micro SD card for the DVR. All the buttons on top feel nice. You get diversity antennas, of course, and you got a little fan, your IPD adjustments below. Standard stuff here, the AV in and out. Uh, you have a, a, um, looks like a micro, a mini HDMI port there. And yeah, this is the screens themselves. You can see IPD adjustments. Pretty nice soft foam, fairly lightweight. Obviously, you don't get a battery. Yeah, no battery in the box, so you're gonna. I think it does use a standard Fast Shark style battery, so you can just use some of those. And uh, yeah, I'll do, be doing a review on this soon. So if you guys have questions about my opinions on this one, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we got a few more things here from Bolt Clash, and I think this is their new FPV antenna, the Comet series, and here's some specs here on what the antenna can do. So it looks like you get two of these in the box and it looks like some sort of a Pagoda antenna. Not really sure. Actually a Pagoda antenna has a separate disc here so this is a different, totally different design. Omnidirectional and then this one here is obviously longer than the stubby one here but it's got this nice little plastic cap on here just to protect it. So this might be I'm assuming it's the same shape as this is just a plastic cap, not sure. And we got some, looks like RPSMA connectors on the bottom. And these are flexible antennas here. So yeah, I'll be testing these out and we'll have a video on this later on. And I got a couple sets of these uh, 7, 16, 19,000 kV brushed motors here. I think these are to replace the ones on the uh, B03 series, so the B03 and the B03 Pro. And I think those have the 716 motors, but I think they're only 15,000 kV, so they should give you more power. So probably something like this would be a good upgrade if you want to do FPV and uh, you're going to need a better motor to carry the camera. So, so we'll be looking at this and see if it performs better with these motors with the FPV system on top. Okay, so Caddx sent a few more micro cameras. Okay, so we got a Turbo F1 2.1 millimeter. Um, four, three cameras. So these are, I think these are all CMOS cameras. And then the same Triple F1 2.1 millimeter with this. This one's a 169. And then we have a Tur Turbo Micro SDR1 2.1 millimeter. And uh, aspect ratio is, I think it's switchable on this one. And I think these are all PAL and TSC switchable because they're all CMOS cameras. Here's just a quick look at the uh, Turbo Micro SDR1. And it's the same design as the other, uh, the S1 that I reviewed before. Obviously the features and capabilities are different, but the design, the micro design here is the same, 19 by 19 millimeters, uh, the same casing as well. And it looks like the same connector in the back, and you get the same uh, OST joystick and uh, mounts and stuff in the box as well. Okay, I got a few more things here from Fox Air. I think they've got, these are the new uh, Predator Mini cameras here. These are the um, pr production versions of the prototype. And uh, now I have the NTSC versions. So they have the NTSC and but now they've sent me the 2.5 millimeter lens to the 1.8 millimeter lens. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. And I think this one's black and that one is blue. But otherwise they look to be the same on both of these. And they sent me a couple more of their uh, Pagoda Pro antennas, but these have the micro FL connector instead of the SMA connector. And they got the one in red and black. And here's what it looks like, and here obviously is the micro FL connector. So if you have a uh, like a VTX03 or something like that, these is this little micro FL connector, and we'll replace your uh, circular polarized antenna or whip antenna with this one. This one is not a bad option. Okay, so this is the um, FPV egg. Well, from King Kong, which they've changed their name to LDARC. You can see they still have the branding labeling here, King Kong RC, on the box here. Obviously, the same old tubs that they've been using for all their models. You can see here, this is, looks like the uh, looks like the uh, Fly Egg, but now they these uh, they've been redesigned so they can use a Micro Swift. So this model uses the 2.8 inch props that uh, King Kong is famous for, as and we're also using the larger. Uh, prop guards here. Of course, I almost never use these. 
So they do include the OSD joystick controller for the MicroSwift and you have a USB cable, some rubber bands and a prop removal tool. And you get a 2S550 LiPo, the GNB. This is a very nice battery, but it still comes with the JST connector. And here's what it looks like. And obviously they redesigned the metal cage here. Instead of holding a CMOS camera, it's now holding the MicroSwift, RunCam MicroSwift here. Actually, it's a MicroSwift 2, I believe. Yeah, as you can see here, that connector is the one for the MicroSwift 2. So we should get a voltage reading on this one. Uh, but otherwise, I think everything else here is going to be the same as the Fly Egg 130. Yeah, you got the same Pico BLX board, which I'm not particularly fond of. And you got the Ford 110 BSC. You got the uh, video, same video transmitter, I believe, as well. Yeah, it's the same uh, 25 100 milliwatt video transmitter. But you got some new motors here. And I think they're shipping these motors as well on the Fly Egg 130. They switched from those silver can motors to these. Uh, Sunny Sky 1104 7500 kV motors. These are much better motors. The silver ones were no good. They were they would just burn out too quickly. Same whip antenna here. Frame is a similar size. I think this is a little bit bigger to accommodate the larger frame here for the MicroSwift, but otherwise it's very similar to the Fly Egg 130. And they'll have a video on this coming up pretty soon. Okay, you got another micro drone here from GearBest. Okay, so it's the uh, Furry B GT90, and this looks very similar to that TransTech. Uh, Aurora 90 that I reviewed a while back, very similar cage design. I think it's probably got the same uh, main plate, which is too thin, I think. Okay, so here it is fully built with the props on, and yeah, it does have the same pretty thin main plate here. You can see it bends. Though I never, I never broke the other one, the blue one, uh, but this one here is different. It has a CCD camera. This is that Furry B CCD camera that I reviewed, the purple one. Uh, but it looks like the in camera angle here is fixed. I might have to mod this if I wanted to uh, get some more camera angle. You can see that because of the way the frame is and the way the camera is and this little, looks like a little 3D printed part here that, that mounts the camera, the camera angle is not adjustable. And because of the way that they've done this, since they're not using an all-in-one, they've stuck the video transmitter just on top here. And with a rubber band, I think. I don't know what the rubber band's for. It's just sitting here kind of loose. Got a receiver. I think this is a FreeSky receiver. You got a little JST connector here in the back. And we got some, looks like these are 1.9 inch props. Two inch props will probably be okay. And we got 1104 7500 KV motors. Not a surprise there. So nice little pink color here. But yeah, this, this frame probably, uh, you don't want to fly this over concrete. You're probably going to break an arm. Uh, but yeah, I'll review this anyway. We'll have to see how it flies. I'm pretty sure it's going to fly pretty similarly, but we I already know what this camera's like. It's very good. I think I'm going to try and mod this to adjust the camera angle.